walk up on this one day trip had a little bit of a lie in didn't we this morning yeah but honestly the sun is shining we've got the sound of the river in the background and it's just so beautiful isn't it can you see we've got the mountains over there we've got a little bridge but isn't it beautiful it was very very windy last night but it was still quite relaxing here in the wind these tents are so great keeping you nice and warm and dry we had a lovely sleep didn't we yes but now we're gonna get ready put the tents down get the other children away and explore some more of the lake district Yourself up on the camera. Oh, put yourself up on the camera then. Can you give them the dummy? Are you trying to give Beef Fam your dummy, Mr. Chewy? Are you giving Beef Fam Mr. Chewy? Have Mr. Chewy, you see. You got the camera. <laughs> you can't have the camera. You can't have the camera. So we've got little Khaleesi just sitting down here, enjoying the view as well. She doesn't want to keep that blanket on her. You just put it on her because it's a little windy in the valley, isn't it? In this valley, it's a little windy. So the weather conditions, it's really nice everywhere around. But in this valley, we're talking to one of the rangers. Um, he met with late last night, it was about 10 o'clock at night. And he was saying that this valley is notorious for strong dust to get through. As you guys can probably already hear right now, continue that way, it might stop it. But I've got the sun in my eyes. But yeah, in any case, you're saying it's a really windy like valley, it does get a lot of wind. Um, we drove down to the inn, they've got like a little inn here, so you can stay in the inn in this valley on vast water if you're looking to not camp or anything like that. I think there's limited spaces because a, a, a huge hotspot for tourists, there's loads of people that are out last night with their headlights on and walking around and stuff. But um, yeah, you was just saying that like if you looking to do a bit of wild camp and he recommended a few places to us um, so we came up here where we've surrounded with some trees so we didn't get the blunt of the wind coming through towards us we were going to camp down next to the inn there was a campsite there there's like people just camping on the floor and stuff but once we got out after having food last night it was just a little bit too windy for our liking um, we came up here and it was a little bit windy last night but it wasn't like as bad as it probably would have been down there I think the tents would have been all right, perfectly fine, because we have camped in worse, however, in our tent on the on the floor. Um, but it was late; we couldn't really be bothered. Um, so we started driving, and the ranger um, came over and says, "Oh, are you looking for a place to stay tonight?" And we're like, "Yeah." And we says, "Well, it's a little bit windy, but we want to like move a little bit further out the wind." So he recommended this place up here, but it's an absolutely beautiful little spot right next to the river. Like I said, scenic bridge out in front of you, the huge mountain just there looks stunning and no better way to wake up and have breakfast than a cup of tea or a cup of coffee boys Logan Caleb look how much room's in here guys so much Space left over on the side, he has. <laughs> Are you awake now? Hmm? Morning, everyone. Morning, Logan. Logan. Time to wake up. I think I'll come back in five or ten minutes. I'm currently just making some coffees for me, Sean, and Dion. I'm making some dippy egg for the children's breakfast. But, Sean. And Khaleesi are down at the river. I don't know if you can see. Honestly, she's enjoying this like you don't know what. She's having a good little conversation with her dad. She's loving just looking at the river and throwing stones in. So cute, guys. Cool. 
How was it boys? Good. Good. Yummy. Yummy. Perfect. I know I can't believe I got a perfect. I always struggle to get the right consistency when it comes to the pierre. I always overcook it. So I also think that you can book horse rides through the mountains. Through the mountains. <laughs> Honestly guys, this place, I've just fell in love with it. Like Wax water is just absolutely beautiful. It's oh, like you it step is. out, it's, it's like you just step out of a country into a little area that like, it's just like so magical and beautiful, isn't it? The mountains are beautiful. The, la the lake's huge and beautiful. You've got lovely hikes around you. All the people down here are so nice and kind and friendly. So we're currently at, I don't know what this place is called, but basically National Trust Place. Uh, it's a five minute drive up from where we've just spent the night. And we're in the toilet. <laughs> but we thought we have to show you this, guys. This is so weird. I've never seen toilets like it. Same. A little creepy as well, I'm not gonna lie. So everything looks Nice Pretty nice normal. And yeah, nice and fancy, as you can see. Gonna go to the toilet. Oh, yep. I'm just gonna go to the toilet. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop to the toilet. Okay. And then you realise. Okay. Hang on a minute. But basically, it's a huge drop down of toilet, wet toilet roll, and you know, way and poo and everything like that. It just drops to the floor when you can't flush or anything. Like, but I'm not going to show you since I think it will make you feel physically sick but it does. Don't, don't, don't it's a bit it. creepy like I couldn't imagine like can't take the number two there yeah and I'd be scared that something's going to crawl on my butt yeah same same <laughs> that's very scary but, yeah ugh it's disgusting anyway down there. it's like yeah. 10 years worth of non flush in the toilet that's what it kind of looks like yeah exactly right now i'm gonna wash my hands so we're just driving past and we've just seen that there's some duck eggs for sale here at the woodhouse farm um there's also a holiday cottage as well so the old barn sleeps four and the stable end cottage sleeps six and that's the telephone number there and stuff but they also sell hen eggs if you're not a big fan of duck eggs but you've never tried um duck eggs before have you no the kids are excited sean says are the bigger than normal eggs i don't know I'm gonna show them yet. let's have a look so the last one. Oh, looking good. This is so cool guys. I love this and then, stuff. And then we've got the little money box. <laughs> Two pounds. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks farmer. Ooh. Oh Ooh, yeah. Oh, they are bigger. Yeah. I'll open the window so there we go. Now, I think they're a little salty because I did have one a long time ago. Wow, but these are huge. These are massive duck eggs. Oh, Dude, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Give me drop. Mm -hmm. The duck eggs, we'll have them later for lunch. Huge. That's a huge egg. <laughs> Why is that big for? You know the ducks that you've seen the other day on the lake? Yeah, yeah they're the kind of eggs. But I, I love it when you can buy fresh milk and fresh bread and stuff from, from the farmers and yeah. stuff, yeah. And you support supporting small businesses as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, for definite. Oh, Let's see how I feel. So if you are looking to stay here, I'll just show you the details again in case I haven't shown you. Uh, you can go and sleep in the barn as well. The barn sleeps four and the stable cottage sleeps six. That's so cool. Now, seriously guys, I would stay here if I never had the motor home in the tents because it's so scenic. Look at the view you've got out in front of you. Yeah, I'm tempted to get some um, hen eggs as well. How big are the hen eggs? Let's have a look at these hen eggs. So these are the large hen eggs. Oh, let's look at the ones from the shop, don't they? Right, we'll stick with the duck, okay? What? Ones? What, what, what ones are those? Those are hen eggs, they're just like normal eggs that you get from like the shop. But um, we've got the duck eggs. They're huge are those? <laughs> yeah, they are. Can't wait to have one of those. So we've just arrived at the beautiful Coddenston Water here in the Lake District. And it's so, so beautiful and picturesque out here in front of me. So, this is one of the lakes that uh, we had on our list to do. And we've been to a few now, we did Wast Water, we've did the Durban Water, we've did um, Ulls Water. Oh my word! Look at this! Absolutely in the vast, stunning location.
Ouch! That's the idea behind this, guys. What's happening up here? Right, boys. What's happening up here? You're changing the formation. Of, you're shaving it. He's getting a good full shave, hasn't he? Yeah, um, he had a bit of green hair. Oh, he's got he green hair, has he? Yeah, he lost his shave off. I'm sure he'll be happy after he's had a good shave from you guys. I'm wondering why he's been green hair. <laughs> well, it looks like they're having fun. But yeah, there's a never bought just down there. I think I'll zoom in for you guys to have a look at. So there's a boat right just over there going on. Looks very nice. And if we just pan up over here, I don't know if they can hire it, but people look like they've been hiring boats as well. So, lots of activity going on the water today. There's no one like you, my little girl. Your eyes so blue under those brown curls. Soon you're on your way. Promise me that you know. So we're just driven through the town of Coniston. We've got the little Coniston park here. The kids are just having a little bit of fun. But how beautiful is it behind us? The scenery is just absolutely picturesque. Oh wow! Okay. Look at this. <laughs> what a place to have a park, guys! Stunning. Got these little cottage houses over here. I think um, people are renting out like their gardens for the motorhomers and stuff. So there's a caravan there, there's a caravan there, and this is a small little caravan park. Uh, there's an RV just behind there as well. And as we were driving down, there was a few other homes of RVs in, them, in their garages and stuff, like plug, letting them plug in their electrics and stuff. So I suppose it is something you could do if you were interested in staying at somebody's property to use their water and their electric and things. Um, yes, Caleb? Yeah, we'll push you on the swing. But absolutely beautiful little village. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. Every day, see one lamb in the park. It looks like one of the local people has carved it in themselves. How long would that last for Newcastle? So, oh, this is like somebody's home here, and they're like renting out space here for electric. We've got one there, one there, caravan around the back, and it just keeps going like right around. So, I think like the local people have just like missed, made it into a bit of a business because of being a tourist section and stuff. Yeah, oh, what happened to Stephanie? Did you fall right. over? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It happens to me all the time. I think it's when. I think it's when you put them on your head, you know, it stretches them. Yeah, they're not meant to go on your head. Well, I don't know. Are oh, you wide awake now? You were sleeping before. Oh, there's a little sun in your eyes. Should we stand here a block with sun in your eyes? So we're just giving Khaleesi a little snack. She absolutely loves these things at the moment. So these are the Ellie's Kitchen peach and banana melty sticks. But any flavour she loves. They're great for teething as well. So it's a little bit later on, we just all got parked and we're now heading off to a little pier on Coniston Water. Um, it's a lovely pier, it goes right out. There's a few people out there, kayaks out there, people swimming, wild swimming. So we decided to go and join them and do a bit of wild swimming on the water today. Um, we've already got our place parked for the night, so we're good. We know where we're sleeping. And there's no science to say you can't have barbecues or campfires or anything um, along the little beach way. I call it the beach, but realistically, it's the lake side area, but it does feel like a beach. So tonight we've got a few plans on the side of the lake. We will get the sun setting just behind the mountains over there. Um, so I must say it's a beautiful location to spend the day and to spend the night. So we're all super excited. We can't wait to go wild swimming come back, have some food, and we've got a little surprise ready for the children, just on constant water. <laughs> Look how clear the water is. Yeah. 
Got to clear that water, guys. So clear. Such a calm evening. Yeah. Stephanie, the sun's the sun's over here. Should we just sit here? So we're just gonna sit here. We've brought our warm coats for when we get cold after we've had our swim. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment Can we stay here? Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever 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 So all down by the lake We got a little fire going The children are just collecting some dead wood That's washed ashore we're starting the little pile off the air. I've put a bit of a wind guard up there. But because we're on hard gravel, we've had to push a lot of dirt up to keep it up. So it's all good, it's working. This side's been taking the brunt of the wind. But the wind seems to have died off a little bit now. And here is our huge, lovely beach fire. Or should I say a lake fire? How's the dead wood collection getting on, guys? Good. Let's have a look. Wow, Logan, you got loads there. Caleb, let's have a look. Wow. Okay, do you want to pile it up down here, guys? Yeah, pile it here. Yeah, pile it over here. 